Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter. We are on Planet Humble, we have blue sky, we have liquid water and lakes are starting to do something. So I haven't seen any water on the surface yet, but we're 8.5% towards lakes and we're progressing pretty well. We've just hit 7 MTI. Today I'd like to start automating things just a little bit, uh, not great automation, but we're going to put up ore extractors where we can and maybe a couple more of these guys. You'll notice a couple of changes. And I've extended, I've uh, removed a few of the small chests. Uh, T1 algae generators are here. I've got some of the big lockers in. I've expanded things just a little bit because we're going to do some stuff today. And that's going to include looking for a spot to establish our final base. Well, there's a lot to do. Let's get stuck in. But um, topped up on food and drink, we are going to head up to the cave in the southwest. Look at that, that worked out quite nicely. Anyway, so this is the cave just to the west of our starting area. Uh, the one in the last episode where we saw the sparkly things under the water. And I was here while I was doing things. Uh, I popped in here and I popped in at about 5 MTI and the uh, ice was gone. And look at all that. We have osmium. Now, we're going to have to be careful with this because... But apparently it's water. Okay, so it's not so weird. It didn't look like water. Anyway, it's water. So we do need to be a little careful because uh, there's a limited amount of osmium available right now. I haven't found any anywhere else yet. So I'm going to run around and I'm just going to collect everything that's here. And that is it. I've cleaned it all out. And another chest was exposed. And that's got a bit of stuff in it. Nothing fantastic. Top up my oxygen. And I think... We could probably start heading back. There isn't really much else I can do here. Unless I just head through this tunnel quickly. Uh, there was a path I didn't take. I think it was this one. And oh wow, look at that. It opens up into a whole new area. Wait, where is this? And what can we find here? That's going to be interesting. All right, well, let's pick up the blueprint chip. There's other stuff here. I'm not going to open things now. Let's uh, go this way and see where it comes out. I hope it comes out somewhere close to uh, a place that... Oh, it's blocked. All right, well, there's there's this whole huge cavern. I'll have to do some exploring when I have a little bit more oxygen. But I don't want this to be my final resting place, so I'm going to head back. I'll stop off for some oxygen, and then we're going to head out. All right, so we just came out of that cave, and it showed that there was an entrance somewhere. I think we went in kind of this direction. Which mean that means that cave entrance is actually inside the cave that we have explored before, where we found all the uraninite. So that's pretty cool. And I may need another chest. All right, let's see what this microchip gives us. Map information rocket. You know, I'm really going to have to start putting up some more rockets. I'll grab a little bit of iron. Oh, let me put these things away. Drop a locker in over here. And this is where we'll just stash the osmium for now. Okay, good. So we do have iridium rods. So I'm going to grab one of those. Let's see what should we take with us. Because I would like to get one of these. So in this box, two of those, one of those, one uraninite, and was it two cobalt? Okay, so that sorts out the ore crusher. Then the ore extractor needs super alloy, aluminium, osmium, and titanium. And I have everything. So I don't know, where should I put... There was that area... Um, let's head out in this direction. I'm going to play with this mine a little bit to see what we can and can't do. But there was this area over here, uh, and I do know that this area changes quite a bit uh, later on as terraformation happens. But you can get bauxite here. And I see bauxite lying on the ground around here, and I have a, a little survival cabin over here. So if I was to put... An ore extractor over here. Let's see what it gives us. It does give us bauxite. Well, that's nice. That means I am not going to have a problem with aluminium anymore. And I will put the crusher down. Oh, power is going to be a problem, isn't it? It's going to give me trouble. And before I do that, let me grab... Let me see if I can find some iron. I put down a platform over here and get this ore crusher in. Yep, there goes the power. Darn it. Okay. I had an idea that would happen. These ore crushers are really expensive on power. All right, I'm going to head back quickly and go and sort out some power. 
Right, now between episodes, I did unlock uh, the Mark II nuclear reactor. So let's have a look at that. And that takes three aluminum rods and it takes explosive powder. Now that is a bit of a problem because we don't have it yet. So for now, I'm going to put down another one of these and hopefully that's going to be enough. Right, let's see if this gets us switched back on. That does. Well, that's good news. Cool thing about this is these each take three super alloys and these take only one. So when I start breaking these down, because uh, I think if I take four of them down, I get four rods back. I get like 12 super alloys and I can replace it with one of the Mark IIs, which means that I will then have 11 extra super alloys and, and a spare uranium rod. So that's that's pretty cool. Anyway, things are working on the other side. Let me get another mine. So I'm, I'm going to put one, I don't know, I'm going to put one somewhere around here. And uh, with any luck, we can pick up some dolomite. Yeah, let's just put it up over here. Oh, my hydration level sorted. We're having a good rain. Well, power seems to still be on. And yes, this will give us dolomite. Good. And then we can just fill up a container, get some dolomite. It's probably going to give us other stuff because it is a Mark 1 miner, but... The main thing it's mining for is dolomite. The same thing with the one on the other side, which is bauxite. I also need to get myself some extra super alloy because I don't have any here, but I can make some. So I will do that. Oh, I need titanium. And the reason is because I actually don't have the tier four backpack, but I do now. And tier five is actually available as well. I'll need some more super alloy for that. May not be a bad thing to focus on. So I'm going to head out to our little bauxite area and see what the extractor has collected for us. All right, so well, we got some iron, which is one of the things I needed. And I'll just drop this bauxite in here. So that'll sort out some aluminium for us. And while I'm in this area, I think I'm going to remove this uh, box because that's probably not a good place for it. And uh, maybe move it somewhere else. Like uh, up here, because there seems to be something here Maybe a cave entrance that we'll be able to use. And I can collect some more aluminium. All right, we're back and I'm just going to drop off a bit of stuff. Keep that box flowing. This box is basically, well, it's not completely full, but there's, there's stuff in it. However, we should start looking at maybe getting one of these nuclear reactors. And we've just unlocked the flower spreader. But in order to get the T2 nuclear reactor, we do need explosive powder. We haven't found any of that and we can't make it yet. But um, we do have access to the bio lab, which needs osmium, three super alloys and an aluminium. So let me make some super alloys. I'm looking forward to automating the process of super alloys or at least finding a place to mine it. If such a place exists in this map, I do not know. Uh, water, grab myself some food. Uh, bean is good. And this is where I'm going to do it. So the, oh gosh, yes, I've got to pick up the osmium as well. So two pieces of osmium, like I said, we have a limited supply of this, so we're going to have to just be very cautious with how we use it because we can't mine it until we've got tier two extractors. So that is where we are. Right, biolab. Oh, aluminium. Right, biolab. Uh, and it's so difficult to see the orientation of this thing. All right, well, there goes the power again. Good grief. And I'm building this so that I can make power. All right. Uh, what do we need for a ladder? We need a cobalt and an iron. Luckily, I have enough of that. Although, I could put a door up there. Ah, never mind. I'm gonna pop a ladder in the corner. Uh, right there. And then we can go upstairs. And this is the wrong way around. Anyway, it's not the last place it's going to be. So that's fine. So we need two explosive powder and an iridium. But none of this is going to work without power. So I suppose I'm going to have to make some more power. And that means more super alloy. All right, well, I'm short of one piece of iron to get this done. So let me see if there's anything in this. All right, there's iron. But let's check it anyway. What have we got? Oh, good, we got some iron. And some other stuff that is becoming short. Good. All right, super alloy is made. I have the rod. I just need a couple of water, a couple of bottles of water, and another one. This is the last of these that I'm building. Absolutely. All right, so we need some sulfur. I think I'll do two. Yes, I'm going to do two. And we can come up here and we can make two explosive powder. Now you'll see there's a few other things. This requires mushrooms, which means that we'll probably be able to find mushroom seeds out in the wild now. Hopefully, if that's a thing in this game, because I saw mushrooms actually occur naturally here. Bacteria, mutagen, which needs bacteria, fertilizer one and two. So yeah, a few new things coming in. All right, I'm going to drop off things that I don't need. 
and I'm going to knock down three of these. So the power is going to go down. I don't mind because I'm going to replace that with one of these. Power is restored and I have all of this left over. And that means I can knock down another three. Power is down again and I have messed up because I dropped things. I'll drink some water, pick up that rod and put that down. Then I can pick up all of this stuff. And that is our power need sorted for a while. And I have a whole lot of super alloys left over with a bit of water. You can see what our power situation looks like. Oh, look at that. That's enough for, for like one tier three ore crusher. So sad. Anyway, soon enough, I'll be able to put another one of the T2 reactors in. So that's good. And I'm going to stash the super alloy with the osmium for now. Right, we are approaching 15% to lakes. I haven't seen any water on the ground yet other than in that cave. And we've hit 10 MTI, which is really good. Just as far as unlocks go, uh, we actually have access to the vehicle station. I'm thinking that might not be such a bad thing because uh, that's got some storage, even you know at the base level, it's still got some storage that we can use to augment ours. Hang on a second. I've got access to the tier five backpack and <laughs> just so happens I have a bit of spare super alloy. So that's gonna expand nicely. All right done look at all that space so fantastic well now i can go and pick up lots of stuff all over the place we also have access to the tier 4 oxygen tank which i should probably get so i can use up all the super alloys that i just saved and that is disturbing that means i don't even have the tier 3 oh <gasps> no how have i not got the tier 3 goodness me that's bad can't believe i've been running around with 200 oxygen and i could have had a whole lot more so tier 3 done tier 4 done Anything else I'm missing? All right, well, 370. We almost doubled our oxygen. Silly. So as I was saying, uh, we also have some other bio stuff that might help us with plants and animals. Uh, we got the algae generator, which we can't do anything with because it needs to go on water and we don't have any of that. But we've got flower spreaders. Now, the difference between a flower spreader and a veggie tube, 13 oxygen. Flower spreader gives 161 oxygen, but it also needs a fertilizer. Fertilizer... I believe needs algae, which we can't make yet because there's no water. So let's check. Yep, it needs a lot of algae, sulfur and eggplants. So yeah, that's not happening, but soon enough we'll get to the flower spreader and feel like I'm slightly ahead of the game here. We also have access to a biodome. So let me get the stuff for that. It looks like everything's getting really expensive with super alloys now. And the last thing that we need is a Loma seed. Where did I put the seeds? Not there. Oh, there they are. All right, so just as a benchmark, the biolab is unlocked. Uh, somewhere in here, we unlocked the biodome. There it was, under the heat. That will take us to the biodome tier 2, which is far better and makes bark. We're going to increase biomass, I think. No, that's just for oxygen. Not a terribly important building, this, but we do need to up the oxygen, so we'll shove it in. And we'll put it separately from everything else. Let's pop it over there, give it its own door, which I need titanium and silicon for. And there's the door. Okay, oh well, you can apparently clip buildings into these structures. Right, and this is also the wrong way around, but hey, it doesn't matter. So this we don't really need because we've got this on our screen. I do need to get back and have some food, grab a bit of water. And I think I'm going to go exploring. I'm going to head up to the iridium area. I don't think that the tier one miners work on iridium, but I'm going to take stuff with me anyway. That's cool. I am basically ready. I just need to pick up a titanium on my way there and we should be good. And I think there are a few things on the way that I didn't pick up because I was holding back. Uh, that's necessary. Those I'll grab that. Uh, let me grab another titanium. Don't know if I need to pick up the seed, but I will. I have space now, so there we go. And there's this little chap that needs to be sorted out anything new no no message there's a blueprint we're gonna have a storm okay there's a box over here mushroom seed that's the one i was looking for good it's gonna be important and boy the mushroom seeds are flowing now all right let me get up to the outpost before things fall apart okay so there's the cave entrance i've got some stuff in here still have to come back for that but um yeah let's head into the cave and I think that's probably the place that's most likely to give us uran uh, iridium if we can mine it with a T1. I don't think we can, though. All right, we'll put it there. 
Nope. So we're going to break it down immediately. All right, so we're not going to put a miner there until we got T2. So now that I've topped up my oxygen, I'm going to head over to the sulfur area and just check on that because I do think that you could get sulfur with a tier one ore extractor. And there's a chest right in the middle. I'm hoping for some more bean seeds. That would be nice. Um, no, I've got enough eggplant seeds to last me for a while. But there's another chest. So I'll grab that one. Bean seed. Yes, please. Oh, rocket engines. Rocket engines are kind of important. And that food, might as well just eat it. Yep, that's about it. I've got to find a place to build the ore extractor. And I think I'll do that close to where I've got my little outpost. All right, this, this looks like a fairly good spot. Right there. What does it get? Yes, it gets sulfur. Okay, fantastic. Okay, good. So if we head north from the sulfur area, there's a whole lot of other stuff going on. There's a ship over there. There's all of this land. There's some stuff over far over on that side. We've got some lava happening over here. I have a feeling that might be a good spot for obsidian later on. Yes, uh, also a strange looking rock over there. Reminds me of something from one of the biomes in the previous map. Anyway, uh, we'll just head back to base now because we've got a, we've got a lot of stuff on us. Actually, before I go back to base, I did put down the extractor, so I've, I've made a bit of room. And there's a chest right uh, next to where we put the extractor. So let's see what it's got in it. Ah, uh, nothing really interesting. I could use the squash seeds. Take a bit of iron back. And that's it. We're going to head back. Making sure that I don't miss anything along the way. Hmm. There's a chest down there. Let's go and see what that's got in it. It's a very strange kind of... What is this? Some kind of a cable? Or a glitch in the map? Don't know. Hard to tell. Oh, there's green stuff. Is this uranium in here? Well, that's interesting. Wait, do I have an explosive on me? I don't. Oh, pity. Okay, nothing fantastic. All right, I still don't see any lake water, so I am sure it's going to be coming. And I'm going to first check out what we get over here. Tier 3 agility boots. Nice. What do we need for them? Uh, explosive powder and two super alloys. You know, I think I can do that. So head upstairs and go and make the explosive powder. I'll make another one. And we have everything we need. Tier 3 agility boots. Very nice. Now, how fast can we move? Pretty fast. It also actually makes you fly faster, so that's an interesting mechanic. All right, I need to do some some more farms. When do we unlock food grower tier two? That is way down the line, 35 tons. I got 5.8 kilograms, so yep, far away. Gonna have to make do with the tier ones. Aluminium, iron, water. Okay, so I'm gonna build another four of these and I'm probably gonna move these ones down to this area. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put them down over here. Okay, one, two, three, and fourth one there. And we'll have a mushroom there and a mushroom there. I might have to do more. And that is seven in total. So on this side, I think I'm going to have two eggplants. I'm going to need to build another one. Okay, so we'll put another eggplant in over here. Then over here, I'm going to have squash there and there. So that is two mushroom, two squash, two eggplant, and then I'll have beans over here. So I've got another one. I'll need to make another food grower or another bean. And just to make sure that I've got power, 65, I need 15. So that's fine. And we'll snap that in and drop a bean seed in. There we go. Food situation's much better, but we also have stuff that we can start stockpiling to be made into other things upstairs. It also happens that we found a couple of rocket engines. So I'm going to use them. Let's have a look. Um, okay, I don't want to do the the mapping just yet. Because firstly, I can't really afford to use osmium that I'm not going to be able to recover. But it doesn't really help us to advance things too much. It is going to tell us where there are things on the map. And maybe I will do it. I uh, also, anyway, don't have a super alloy rod. So it's not happening right now. Uh, GPS satellite really isn't going to give us much information. We uh, kind of have an idea of what's around us just from exploring. So... It's going to be these two launch and that one and launch and let's watch the fun and games happen while they fight each other so they handled that pretty well all right it's night time see you in the morning all right it is morning we're being hit by the storms from the rockets oh well, there's another spot that they're landing i'll have to go check that out but i've decided i'm going to expand things a little bit i'm going to put in a third tier three drill 
So that's that. And then I'm going to put in another tier three heater. So I'd need a titanium for that. I have to say, titanium doesn't seem to come through in these crushes. And I'm also not seeing them in the war extractors. Oh, let me take these. So I'm still having to pick up titanium off the ground. That's interesting. All right, just keeping an eye on where these are landing. It looks like there's a landing spot just over on that side. So once this all clears, I'll go and find all the iridium and uranium lying around. But I have what I need, so let's put another one of these guys in. There we go. Let's see, that should be pumping things a bit. Oh, yes. Very good. Oxygen is severely falling behind. But don't worry about that. That's going to change. Just drop some stuff off and I need to grab a bit of water. I think both storms are finished now. And let me start over here. Oh, good. Lots of uranium and and some iridium. All right, more iridium. And I'll have to just come back and see if I've missed anything. All right, so I'll just immediately make a iridium rod to save space. Pop it into the container. Put these away. All right, well, I have got a few of them, so I can start making rods out of the next ones that I find. Okay, so I don't see any around here this time. Interesting. So I'm going to head out in that direction where I saw a couple of them fall. All right, I see the rocks. There are a couple of patches. I see some over there, it looks like. Yes, very good. Uranium over here. Very handy. Also very handy having a bigger storage. And I'm full up. And I've got a whole bunch more stuff to collect. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, and I just noticed we have water. Yes, that's very nice. Okay, we've got water on the surface. Great news. That means that we'll be able to start getting some algae soon. In fact, if I'm if I can, I might just put an algae generator in there. Let's see what we need for that. I know we need bioplastic, and I've only found one nugget, I think. And we only need one nugget. Well, that's handy. We're gonna do that and also. That actually creates quite a lot of oxygen and plants. Us nice. first, get rid of that. Uh, okay, we could do another one of those, and just like that, we're doing pretty well again. Awesome. Right. So let me see. Where is that bioplastic nugget right there? Just so that you know, the bioplastic nuggets are also made up here, and they take two mushrooms and a silicon with a bottle of water. Fortunately, we did pick up one, so we don't have to do that just yet. So I grab a super alloy, one magnesium, an eggplant, and I have everything to make that. Now, if I can make it, that's great. I'm not sure if I can. So where do I put it? This looks like one of the first places. So this may actually be the deepest. I'm not sure if we're going to get anything out of it just yet. But I'm going to put it in over here. And it goes in, even though it's really shallow. That means that uh, as this gets deeper, the, the algae that's spawned over here will be like right at the bottom. You can see little spots of algae there. Tiny little spots. Here's another one. And it's starting to happen. Good. That means that soon we'll be able to make some fertilizer. And that opens things up a lot. And we have unlocked the, uh, what is it? Vehicle infantry increase. That's nice. Oh, sure. But yes, we've got to do the vehicle. Not too focused on that right now. I just want to grab a whole bunch of iron because I am thinking I know where I'm going to do my base. Well, Actually, I'm not 100% sure, but probably somewhere over this side. It just seems kind of more central to everything that we've seen so far. So let's see how I can do this without interfering with the landscape too much. How's that look? I don't know. I think it looks about okay. So we'll put that in there and I need to get water and oxygen before I die. Oh no, it's actually food I need. Right, well, I think I'm. let's finish this last space food. And we can harvest these and go and put them into a box over here. In fact, I should be harvesting everything that I can. Otherwise, it just doesn't grow anymore. So that can all go in right there. And it's night time again. Isn't that amazing? Put another one over here. All right, we're going to keep this nice low profile. Let's see if we can get this to work. Now, I'm going to use the big living compartments because I kind of like them. And... Let's see if we can get this to line up with the center of something. Okay, so that's clipping. That looks middled. One back, no, one forward. I wonder if that is right. Oh, I just needed to go a little bit further down. Otherwise, that's pretty good. Do I need it to go further down? Uh, actually, no, not really. So let's put a door on this one. That, that's actually perfect. Good stuff. Well, then I'm going to add a... Another large living compartment on the back of this one. 
No, I don't want it like that. No, yes, like that. And then right over here is where I'm going to start doing my storage area. And this will be a crafting area and the entry hall maybe. Actually, the entry hall may be on this side and it might be a bit smaller. All right, that's the beginnings of our main base. And it's nicely tucked away in a valley. As long as the water doesn't come up too high. And you know, looking at those rocks, I did kind of go on that side and measure up. I think this is the right height. It's 147. Anyway, that's the beginning. Okay, so now that that's started, I'm going to have to give it some support so it looks decent. But we have algae. And I think we can harvest. Uh, can we? Maybe the water is just not deep enough for me to get under. I don't see anything. There's some. Okay, good. We can harvest. I just need to find it. It will be easier when the water is a bit deeper. But normally with these tier ones, you should find three of them around. But it is possible that I put that down a little early and uh, it's somewhere underneath all of this, like under the ground. So that's cool. We'll, we'll just wait for that to happen. Uh, maybe put down another one because we do have two mushrooms, a silicon and uh, possibly water. That means we can go upstairs and do another bioplastic. There we go. And then I'll get all the other stuff together so that we can build another one of these. Eggplant, magnesium, super alloy. Good, we have everything, so let's go and put another one in. And maybe I'll put this in slightly deeper water. It's not like this is much better, but, you know, right there. And there goes the power. Good grief, we chewed through that quickly. Another one of these. <sighs> Explosive powder could be a problem. No, nope, it's not because I already made one. <laughs> all right, I think I've got everything for it. So let's put another one down and power is back up. So let's go and see how our stats are doing. All right, good. We are going, we are going well on heat. We're going well on pressure. Oxygen is picked up. That's not bad. Uh, we're not doing very well on biomass, but to be honest, I'm not really pushing it that much. We'll be unlocking lake water collectors at 50 MTI, so we have a fair bit away. Uh, 63 parts per billion on oxygen to get the heat up. So not for a while. T2 biodome. 12 uh, micro kelvin actually that's not too far away that'll give us a good boost i do need to put some flower spreaders down that means that i need to collect more algae so i can make some flower spreaders gas extraction at 100 millipascals that's going to be a while and the t2 ore extractor which i really desperately want to get to but it's pretty far off anyway we do what we can power situation yeah we're looking fine at the moment that should last us a while but it does kind of disappear pretty quickly ah good i can pick up a little more algae now no not ready yet i may need to rebuild this one because it looks like the third one is missing and i'm not going to be able to do anything with it if it's hidden somewhere and i'm only going to be getting two per time out of this one so probably going to have to change that this is going to take a little while to get up and running yep there's some it's not ready but that's fine all right, I got a food warning. We're going to have to start eating beans now. So there we go. Beans sorted. I'll carry one with me. I'll just drop the algae that we picked up. Pick up some water. Yeah, none of these are ready yet. And we're having rain. We are currently 45% towards lakes. And I really do want to push the biomass a little bit. I'd like to get to the plant rocket. That'll help things. But the T2 algae generator as well, because that's way better than the T1. But I'm at that point in the game now where I can kind of mess around. I can go exploring without having to worry too much. My food and water are secure, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I just need to get things unlocked and make things produce better. And we've got some more. Is this not ready yet? How can that not be ready yet? All right, it's ready now, so I'll grab it. Now, let's go and make some fertilizer. So fertilizer needs algae. It needs sulfur and eggplant. I think I might be out of sulfur. It's a bit of a problem. I am. But I have a mine out there, so I'll go and fetch some. But first, let's see what we need for the flower spreader. We need one fertilizer, and the rest of the stuff is pre pretty straightforward. All right, things are going pretty well. Uh, I just stopped in at the sulfur area to pick up some sulfur. So let's sort that. And uh, on the way, I picked up a few other things that were lying around. Oh, so we got sulfur now. Let's go make some fertilizer. All right, I think I've got enough stuff to make one. So let's do that. Cool. Time for the flower spreader. It also means I need to grab a flower. We'll get one of the good ones. And let's put this. Just need some magnesium. There we go. And I think uh, we'll just put this one over here. Right there. Put a seed in. Boom. So that should give us a bit of a bump on various things. Yep. There we go. Oh, good. Got a lot of oxygen out of that because it gives 161 oxygen and 9.2 per second plants. 
So that's really good. And then there's a tier two, which will be even better. That does mean that this biomass is going to increase quite a lot faster now. And we'll put another one down. So it'll increase even faster. We'll get to this tier two algae generator quick, quick. All right, well, I moved the algae generator that was over here. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. So much more. Okay, it's not ready yet, but there's a whole bunch of it. And the other one that we placed, well, there's only one here. All right, so we may as well start preparing. So I'll get another... Gonna get another fertilizer made. I've only got two algae, so I don't have to wait for that. Three water. Good thing I checked on the water because I did need some. But I'm thinking I might put up another atmospheric water collector because I'm starting to use a lot of water on various things now. Oh, wow. Look how cool these plants look. Amazing. All right. I can pick up some algae. There's a bunch of it over here and it's all ready. So at five pieces. Really good. Good. I picked up six in total. Fantastic. Let's go and put down another flower spreader. One fertilizer made. I need to go and grab myself some food, so I might as well empty this lot out. And then we'll put a flower spreader over on this side. Right over there. And pop a seed in, and we're all good. And that should have given another really good boost. Uh, there we go. We're over 2,000 now, and lakes are at almost 60%. And biodome tier 2 has unlocked. What do we need for that? Two fertilizers. Bacteria, super alloy, sulfur. Boy, we're going to need a lot for that. All right, I think I have enough stuff to get uh, the two fertilizers, but I need bacteria samples. So I need another four algae and three more water or so. That's going to take a little while, but when we're there, I'll get back to you. And we've just unlocked the algae generator tier two. Let's see how that works. Uh, we need two bioplastics and a fertilizer. All right, I'm not quite ready for that, but we'll get into it because the difference in output between the tier one and the tier two is enormous. 127 to 350 on oxygen and 0.8 to 23 on plants. It's huge and it delivers a lot more algae, but I really want to get the biodome done first. Just need those bacteria samples. Well, the good news is I have uh, everything we need for two bacteria samples. There we go. Those are done now. And that means I have everything for the T2 biodome. Let me see if I can snap it onto the back of this one. Perch myself up here. Grab this. Turn it. Oh, it's not liking this. Oh, there. There we go. Look at that. All sorted. And I don't even have to put a door on it. Straight through. Fantastic. Now, the benefit of this, and the reason I wanted it sooner, was because oxygen. So, first of all, it will produce tree bark, which we're going to need. But if you look at the recipe... Oxygen, 1,450. And it makes 11 plants just for fun, which is uh, quite a lot more than what we would have got out of the algae generator T2. And that means that our oxygen is now way up and we're getting a little bit more biomass as well. So with oxygen increasing, that gets us to the tier 4 heater a little bit faster. But I do need to increase heat a lot because I'd like to get the drill tier 4 so that I can increase the pressure faster. Lots of uh, mind juggling with, with this game. And I think in the next episode is when I will build our vehicle because honestly, don't really need it right now. But that is that. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know your thoughts. We are at uh, almost 39 MTI. So we've made fairly good progress in this episode and we have increased things on the terraforming a heck of a lot. We are almost 77% to lakes. Uh, it might happen between episodes. I'm going to do a little bit of work and collect stuff. So it's not so boring for me running around and picking stuff up. Like, for example, I'm running out of aluminium. I need to go head out to the bauxite mine. It's so little things like that. But right now, it's, it's even more chill than it was. I have an extra atmospheric water collector. I have enough food being produced. I must just remember to collect it when it's fully grown so we can stash things. And I put another food grower in here because we're going to need quite a lot of eggplant. But I do thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, cheers.